Um, so I'm here with Sebastian Jones. And uh, hey, how's Thank it going? Thank you. Thanks yeah. for having me. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Um, so uh, um, so uh, when I was here before, um, hearing about the Untamed, um, there's, there's two things that really intrigue me. Number one, um, you guys are doing this shared universe, yes, which is not something you see with an indie publisher very often. Right. And number two, Seven Souls in Seven Days. Right. Uh, so wh what is this about? I've never heard of this before, but it, it sounds like the most amazing thing. And you've got some really cool partners that you guys are talking about as thank, well. Thank you very much. Yeah. yeah so uh, I spent 30 years creating a fantasy world. And the origin of The Untamed is basically that story. This is a story of a man stuck in purgatory. And after 10 years, the devil comes along and says, I will give you seven days to reap the seven souls that murdered you and your family. The guy says, well, sign me up. I have nowhere else to be. <laughs> so it's very much like those old um, Kurosawa movies, yeah, Sergio yeah, yeah. Leone movies, yeah. about a lone drifter returning yeah. to a one-horse town in a huge world. Yeah. So it's kind of the way I wanted to introduce my world, as opposed to these big kind of like, oh, we're off to save the princess kind of stuff. Right just bacon in a gritty one-horse town yeah. and then follow this man on his path of vengeance hopefully he finds redemption and then peel back the layers to discover more of the world and I got very lucky I worked with Daryl Mays a cultural anthropologist um, to do all the layouts Peter Bergting who does covers for Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings right. to we spent nearly 10 years putting this book together wow. and um, yeah so it's just been a real real labor of love uh, Joshua Cozy on e uh, editorial and lettering um, that's basically the origins of Stranger Comics, the stranger in the story, the man with no name. Oh, okay, perfect. Right? Yeah, yeah, that makes perfect sense, yep. And then we go into, we have the sequel now, yeah. even with the, uh, woman Jay Lee, who does covers for us now. We work with Jay on other things as well. Okay. You know, Jay who does The Dark Tower, right. Batman v Superman. And then um, probably our most famous title, that span off from The Untamed, is Niobe Shears Life. And this, this girl looks very familiar. Yeah, so I got very lucky. I worked with Amanda Stenberg. She played Rue in The Hunger Games. Recently, she starred in her film Everything, Everything, and soon to be The Hate You Give. And this became the first ever nationally distributed comic book with a black female author, artist, and hero in the history of comics. And Ashley A. Woods, out of Chicago, did the beautiful art, and Hyung Tech Nam does this uh, fantastic cover. So I worked with some amazing, amazing, talented people. So very, very lucky. So, um... Let's start. Let's start here, since since we're already at this book. Sure. Um, it, it's it sounds incredible to me that this would be the first of its kind that it would right. have, you know, the the all the all the people involved in the book are are people of color. Yeah. And it's the first. I can't. I, I you know, comics have been around since what the thirties. You know, right, like I right. can't believe that. How did that come together? How did you? Was that an intentional effort? Yes. Um, I you know I'm a big believer in representation matters, and. Um, but you know, I, I, I'm, look, I'm mixed, but I knew with Niobe, I needed to have an authentic voice to represent a teenage girl, a teenage black girl, teenage mixed black girl, representing Niobe from an authentic place. So when I met Amanda, I would met a couple of girls, and I think, it just, you know, it just never works out. And I met Amanda, and she, she seemed to reflect the journey of Niobe in a very authentic way. Got very, very lucky. She fell in love with a character based on my book, The Untamed, and, um, and then we started, uh, you know, we were going to do an, originally a novel with Hyung doing singular images, and we, Amanda was super busy, so what happened was we thought, okay, well, let's do a comic book, and we interviewed a couple of artists, and Ashley sent in her artwork, and Amanda, who had met her, said, oh my God, that's, that's the one, we have to work with her, so that's how it kind of came to fruition and my all my team were like yes she's absolutely perfect to represent it's very bright very fresh very kind of fresh hopeful colors yeah yeah you know very um being, being kind of saga like in, right you know yeah, been, yeah, yeah. I, I hear you know um just very hopeful very whimsical um and perfect to kind of represent the age range teenager you know coming of age kind of story so yeah super super lucky and uh, so, obviously, you created the character of Niobe. I did. But you handed the reins over for, for this book. Did sure. you find that um, you discovered anything new about her now that she was being um, written by a woman or anything that you're like, huh, uh, that's something I wouldn't have thought of? Well, it's funny you say that, yeah. I mean, Amanda and I co-wrote this book. Um, but working with Amanda when we started uh, doing this together is there was there were a lot of things that 
she would really say don't overwrite because Niobe is a teenager and she really brought this kind of um, perspective, this authentic perspective that I just, uh, you know, I'm 44 now, you know, sure. it's, been a, it's been a while. So, um, yeah, it really, it really just grounded the character, honestly. It just grounded her in the most honest way. So, um, did I did I hear you before? You were said this is thirty years in the making in, in total. We, we sp I spent about thirty years nurturing the world. So playing, so playing a lot of D and D. Okay. Live action role playing yeah. and just and just creating and then. Um, so did it come out of a D and D campaign? Uh, some <laughs> one or two of the stories did. Yeah. The Untamed, no Niobe, no. But Erethune, um, actually, I have it right here. Erethune. Where Niobe's older did come out of a D and D campaign, okay. campaign, just kind of almost more so the backdrop and some of the basic story elements. Um, but one thing I try and do is not romanticize about each medium and go, it must stick to the game, or you know, what is the best comic that we can tell, the best story for the comic we can tell. You know, so I'm a big believer in if this never becomes a TV show or film. Hopefully, we're just presenting the best comic properties, right. so it's it feels it feels honest, you know. So it doesn't feel like you know we're making this stuff just uh, whatever. But uh, if it does, you know, fantastic. Speaking of TV shows, um, I, I I know uh, I heard it before when I was talking to you guys, but I don't think you mentioned it now. I don't know if I'm allowed to mention too much. Well, not not specifically that, okay. but but the person who's involved with your first book, a certain uh, so certain yeah. person who's always dying. Oh yeah, well we, we got very lucky, um, Sean Bean, the man who dies in everything, we got lucky, we signed him to a, an animation deal, we did a little animation trailer with Film Roman, the guys that do The Simpsons, and his opening line in our animatic short is, I was a dead man. <laughs> so it, it worked out perfect, yeah. it worked yeah. out perfect. And then we got very lucky with the, with the Niobe uh, graphic novel we've got coming out, Viola Davis is giving us her forwards. Nice. So um, it, it's just great. Just uh, people supporting the comics and p supporting this character on her journey, which we really feel is a journey uh, for teenagers. as that obligation versus adventure okay. type tale. So uh, just to, to wrap it up then, uh, yeah. you, you mentioned uh, Niobe has a teenage protagonist. Yes. What are, what are the uh, age ranges uh, you're looking at for the different books? Are they all... Uh, teen or all ages or mat are some of them mature? Yeah, The Untamed is more mature um, and Dusu is a little bit more mature as well. The, Un the Niobe She is Life is definitely all ages safe. Erethun, all ages safe. But we wanted to make Niobe She is Life so everyone can embrace and have that opportunity. When we get to Niobe She is Death, the sequel, Niobe becomes kind of a bit of a badass bounty hunter hunting down human traffickers and slave traders. Sure. That's a little older, but it's still... You know, it's still a little bit open. Right. Then we'll have Naobi Shears Spirit, and we'll finish with Naobi Shears God. Okay. In the Naobi Shears series. Oh, nice. Yeah. So, uh, do you see a, kind of a progression with those? The same way that, for example, Harry the Harry Potter, Potter books. I yeah, do. they started out as little kids, and so, so yes, they're getting more mature. But your readers are maturing along with I, it. I, exactly. And they hit the, you hit it on the head. And Sheldon Mitchell, who uh, has done Cable, worked with us on Vampire Hunter D, who does the R for Erethun. He's taken on the reins for Niobe Shear's death, and it's absolutely stunning. It's very gritty. It, it just, what I try and do the best, you know, with Stranger is finding the right artist that fits the right project. So it, everything just, you know, ties up nicely. That, that sounds great, and, and I really love what you're doing here. It's, Thank you. It's always great when you can take something that you've nurtured since you were, you know, before you were even an adult, and Thank make you. it into a reality. Thank you. And, and, and you've got... Not just a, a book, but an entire empire, and that's great. Fingers crossed. Thank you so much. Thank yeah. you so much for talking to me, Appreciate and it. you've been so busy, um, but thank you for taking the no time. No worries. Awesome. Thank you very much. Look for us at StrangerComics.com or at StrangerComics on all social media. Thank you. Thanks, brother.